Yo, what is up, guys? It is me, Bowser Jr. And it's me, Larry. And boom, boom, booze. And as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be showing off my entire Amiibo collection. And if you've been tuning into the channel for the past few years now, you know that I really like my Amiibos. And also, if you're new around here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this one, and to show your support to the channel. Alright, let's get into the Amiibos! So, to start off the collection, we have Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, got Bowser, and the lovely Princess Peach. Ooh, you said lovely Princess Peach, Buzz. Do you have a crush on her? Shut up, boom, boom, boom. Nobody asked. You have no friends. Oh. Huh. But anyways, we got Dr. Mario, Daisy, the Smash Bros one, Wario, oh, don't drop my amiibo, sorry, uh, and then the Piranha Plant. And I just want to point out, why the hell, Buzz, did they add the Piranha Plant to Smash Bros? Nobody asked for you, nobody freaking cares, but it looks really nice. Excuse me, man, why the hell is Piranha Plant in Smash Bros? And we can't forget, we have the Rosalina Smash Bros amiibo, and dude, not gonna lie, guys, I we have a crazy story about this one. A lot of the amiibos we got, we have a ton of crazy stories about, so you're gonna be hearing a lot about these crazy stories on this video, so here's the one with Rosalina. So basically we were driving to Target to pick up this amiibo, and we went in there and we saw this fat guy, just like, probably looks like he lives in his mom's basement. He was just taking the entire freaking like, shelf of Rosalinas and just putting it into the cart. And then we go over to him and I'm like, yo, can we have one? And he's like, no. And we were like, what the hell, we just want one. And then he was like, we, I, dude, I hate Rosalina. I don't want anybody in this world to own this, so I'm gonna buy all of them and I'm gonna keep them in my basement. So I was like, dude, what the hell? So then I went, we went, went over to the worker guy, and then he's like, oh, sorry, man, we can't help you. If he wants to buy all of it, we're just gonna, you know, let him. And I was like, what the hell, man? So Big Man bought all the freaking amiibos, and he got in his car, pretty much just destroyed it because he's so fat, and he drove off barely. The car could barely hold itself. And we were like, hell, man, we're not gonna let this guy get away with this freaking this this. I want, I want my Rosalina! So me and my dad got in the car, and, and Junior, and Boom Boom, and we drove there full speed, and not gonna lie guys, we crashed his car. He flew out of that damn car like some kind of GTA 5 stuff. He landed on the floor, and we gently patted him on the back and said, uh, thank you for the Rosalina Amiibo, and we took one, and here it is! No bloodstains, guys! Uh, don't tell anybody. Yeah, dude, that was so freaking annoying, but anyways, to finish off the Smash Bros. Mario line, we have Bowser Jr., one of my favorite ones. And uh, I have a funny story about this one. So I walked into Toys R Us to pick this guy up because he was a Toys R Us exclusive. And the, and the worker was like... Wait, wait a second. He was like, yo, that guy looks just like you. And I was like, yes, sir, that's me. And then he's like, oh my god, you're the real Bowser Jr. Wow, can I have your autograph? And I was like, whoa, whoa, back off, man. First of, first of all, six feet apart. Well, not back then. But anyways, I was like, okay, whatever, man. And then he's like, you know what, dude? I'm gonna pay for it. So I got this free Bowser Jr. Amiibo just because I look like him. So that was, that was awesome. And to continue with the Mario topic, we have the two 8-bit Marios. We got the colored one and the retro one. So those are pretty cool. And also we have all the original Mario Party 10 Amiibos and a really annoying story. Boom Boom's sister, Pom Pom, loves to steal the peach one. She just loves to steal it every time she freaking comes over because she has to tag along with Boom Boom. She takes the thing and claims it's her Disney princess toy. It's so freaking annoying. Mm, I'm sorry, man. I don't know how to get her to stop. She's so freaking annoying. But uh, I just got back the Daisy and the Rosalina buzz. She stole that like last week. Wait, what? Boom Boom, I swear to God, get your stupid sister out of my house and get her sticky fingers off my amiibo. Seriously, I want to kill her. I swear to God, she touches one more amiibo and I will just off with her head. Off with her freaking head. Anyways, we have Diddy Kong, we have Donkey Kong, Big Man Wario, Waluigi, and oh yeah guys, um, I actually stole this from Waluigi, this is actually his, so shh, don't tell him. What? We got Goomba, Koopa, and also Boo, and this was really cool because he actually glows in the dark, watch this. So if I take this and I put it in the light, I don't know why I have to do that, but you put Boo in the light and then you run over Super Saiyan Jump and right here, you see, he's going in the dark. Look at that, it could be your personal nightlight, it's so dope. That's awesome, but you can't forget the Silver Mario Amiibo. Dude, this was so annoying to get. Literally, we missed the day it came out, so they were all like gone, all on eBay for like thousands of dollars, and it was so freaking annoying. But what ended up happening is we ordered it on Amazon, and we kept getting scammed. We ordered this thing like three times, and we got the normal one. I was so mad, but eventually we ordered it again, and we got the right one, and we never got our money back, so screw you, Amazon. But I love Amazon. Amazon's dope. <laughs> and you can't forget about the gold Mario bus. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to touch it. Actually, I have a story about this one. I give it back. <sighs> so, this one. It was really annoying because I knew this thing was coming out at Walmart. And the day before, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do an all-nighter. So I took a sleeping bag, a bag of Doritos, a small one, not a big one because I'm an idiot, and a bottle of water. And I sat there and I waited. And people walked by me like, oh. Oh, hey there, little kid, what are you doing? And I'm just like, oh, I'm waiting for the gold Mario Amiibo. And they're like, oh, wait till Christmas. And then I'm just like, yeah, screw you. They were freaking boomers. Anyways, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting all night, and I was not gonna let anybody cut me in front of the line, right? I was determined. 
So I fell asleep. Nobody woke me up. They, they, were, they weren't even there. They were like at home playing like a video game or something. So I wake up and then I, I see a giant lineup in, ahead of me for this Mario Amiibo. And I was like, are you kidding me? I just wasted like, what, 12 hours of my life? I stood in that line for 12 hours plus and I fell asleep in the freaking cold. But I went to Walmart because I cut the line. Screw everybody. I cut that freaking line, cut it harder than a freaking brick of cheese. Went in there, grabbed the Amiibo, paid for it, and I went home and signed our, you stupid idiots, because I got the golden Mario Amiibo. And then you went like insane, and then you just ripped it open from the box. Yeah, that happened. Uh, then we got the colorful Yoshi's bus. And these are really cool because they're little plushies. They're one of my favorites, but yeah, I like the pink one. Well, with that being said, guys, we're officially going to move back into the Smash Brothers line of Amiibos. We're going to be going off topic a bit, but it's mostly going to be Smash Bros. ones from now on, because those are the ones we love to collect. And now we're going to go to the Legend of Zelda line. Well, actually, it should be Legend of Link, because nobody gives a damn about Zelda. It's all about Link. Literally, type in the comments how much you like Zelda. Nobody cares about Zelda. It's Link. Legend of Link. So anyways, we got... Let me guess. Link? Wow! So yeah, we got Link. We got Toon Link and Young Link. Big difference. Toon Link and Young Link. Wow. Anyways, then we got Zelda, her sexy alter ego, Sheik, or whatever. I don't even know at this point. Ganondorf. And the day the Switch came out, we also picked up the Breath of the Wild thing because he looks really cool, and I've never used him ever since. So then we got the Star Fox characters. We can start off with Fox. And then we got Falco. So when I was little, I used to call this guy Bluebird, but now I can call him Falco because I now I know and I'm not stupid now. And let's not forget that Wolf recently came out, and that is it with the Star Fox line. We finished it. The one thing I got to say about this guy, he has a really weird pose. He's like, go get him, Tiger. Oh yeah, go get him, Tiger. And we can't forget about the Kid Icarus amiibos. We got Pit, Dark Pit, and Palutena. And I love her. She's my wife, and she's so pretty. Boom, boom, do not break it. And now with the Animal Crossing amiibos, we have Villager from Smash Bros, and the new Isabella. And that's it. You notice how we don't have the other ones? Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah, very true. But now we're gonna move on to the Fire Emblem characters, and... Oh boy. We got Marth, Ike, Roy, Lucina, the two crumbs, whatever the hell that guy's name is, and Robin. Now, I just really want to say this right now. Like, like to anybody that loves Fire Emblem, no offense, you can go ahead and love Fire Emblem. I don't like Fire Emblem. I don't play the games. I, I, I like using Roaring Smash Bros, sometimes Marth, but I'm not a big fan of Fire Emblem. I don't play the games. So why the hell are there so many of them in the game? Nobody asked for these, and nobody cares. You put Piranha Plant in? Okay, that was original. But why the hell do we have, like, what, six different sword fighters here? If you want to be exact, we have, like, seven of them, okay? Like, what the hell? We don't need Fire Emblem. We need new original characters. Nintendo, stop. But on a high note, we have Ness and Lucas. And dude, I have a really crazy story about Ness. So when we tried to pre-order Ness from the GameStop website, the, the, the website crashed. Too many people were ordering. So we couldn't get our pre-orders, nor could anybody else. So we had to go out of our way and actually walk to the store, break in with a rock, and take one. And also leave $20. Sorry, $25. How, well, I don't know how expensive these Amiibos are now. What, so in a year, they'll be like $40 per piece. Anyways, next up we have the Cloud. And this is the Player 1 version Cloud. Because eventually, Nintendo decided to make Player 2 versions of three Amiibos. And one of these were Cloud. This is the Player 2 Cloud. And it was pretty hard to find. And I guess you could say, if you wanted to get it, your head was in the clouds. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Get out of my house. Get out of my house! That wasn't funny! <laughs> Jeez, guys, I'm so sorry to hear that joke. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, with that out of the way, speaking of Player 2 Amiibos, we have Bayonetta Player 1 and Player 2. And, and I gotta tell you guys something. Nobody cares about Bayonetta, so why the hell does she have two Amiibos? I'd rather have two Amiibos of freaking Kirby, or Jigglypuff, or Charizard, or Diddy Kong. Nobody gives a damn about Bayonetta and her big titty. Nobody cares. If there's one person that I was not expecting to make it into Smash Bros, it's Bayonetta. I don't know. I don't know why. And then anyways, moving on, we have Inkling Girl, and she's a really nice amiibo. And that's not actually all the Splatoon amiibos we have. We got all these ones over here. We got the main trio, we got the, the a news reporter girl, the other news reporter girl, and then we got the new ones from Splatoon 2. And notice how I don't have all of them. Yeah, because we don't need them. But at least we have the Smash Bros one. That was the coolest one. And then next up, we got the Me Brawler, Me Sword Fighter, and the Me Gunner. And it was really cool that they made these into Amiibos. Because these actually allow you to create your own Me into an Amiibo that you can train and fight your friends with. I personally don't get pleasure out of these because I'm not a human. I am a turtle. And they don't have turtle Me's in 
uh, Smash Bros, or the Wii, or the Switch, or anything. But it's a really cool addition, and I'm really happy that Nintendo did this, and my personal favorite, Sword Fighter. I like stabbing people. Okie dokie, so these next characters are like kind of like retro characters. They don't really have like a group that they're in, but and they're kind of like standalone amiibos, but they're super retro, and they're so awesome to look back at. Let's take a look at them, boo. So to kick it off, we have the Retro 3 pack with Duck Hunt, Mr. Game & Watch, and Rob the Robot. And these three came together, and this guy has more pieces that I'm too lazy to get right now. And then we have the Japanese exclusive Rob, that's like the Super Famicom version or whatever. It came to North America eventually, so it isn't really a Japanese exclusive, so liar. Then we got Sonic the Hedgehog, Buzz, and then we got Little Mac. And fun fact, I watched Junior buy this while I was eating a Big Mac. That's real funny. And then we got Mega Man, the Ice Climbers, and Pac-Man! I love Pac-Man. Look at his happy little face. He looks like he loves life. And to continue off from the retro people, we have the more modern people. These are amiibos that are like single off, like, you know, like Olimar. And they don't really have a group, but they're more newer and they're not as old as them. So we got Olimar, Captain Falcon, got Snake, Shulk. <laughs> I'm really feeling it! <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody cares. And Wii Fit Trainer. This was a really weird, tricky one to get. It became really rare after it first came out because nobody really cared about it. So, you know, things that nobody cares about becomes more really rare and expensive. So, wow, nice. But this was really weird because I had a really weird friend in school and he likes to let's say do his business he likes to get he likes to pleasure himself and he used this to do that he looked at it and he just you know did his stuff and i was like that's kind of weird man but i really want that wefa trainer amiibo so i bought it off him and i washed it with a lot of hand sanitizer it's never felt smelled so good in my entire life i've never owned something that smells as good as this thing because i am really disgusted about what was done to that amiibo it is disgusting disgusting i am so sorry for the, the disgusting Disgraceful pain that you had to go through with Wii Fit Trainer Amiibo. I am so sorry. All right, so next up we got the Kirby characters, and I want to start off with King Dedede. Like, look at this guy. He's had so much detail on him. He's a really nice Amiibo, and I'm so honored to have him. And then we have Kirby. Man, I'm so disgusted to hold this guy because what ended up happening is my brother Iggy. He thought it was a gumball, so he thought it was a great idea to swallow it whole. Not only did he rupture his throat and intestines and stuff because of this, this is plastic and probably cut through stuff in there. But we had to wait as he took a dump and we had to smear through his crap to find this thing. It was disgusting, and I've never looked at him the same way ever again. Don't touch my Bebos. Don't eat my Bebos. Don't even look at my Bebos. Just stop. And then we got Mennonite, and a really cool story about this guy. So I was waiting outside of a Best Buy to get this guy, and I was really determined, right? And then there's this just complete dickhead just sitting next to me. He was like, oh, I'm gonna get all of them. And I was like, oh yeah, man, we'll see. So we went in there, and he hopped over the desk, because, you know, at this point, Amiibos were just going outrageous. People were like, pushing and shoving each other like a Black Friday event just to get these little toys. So they were over the counter at a Best Buy. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You've been to a Best Buy. This guy jumped over the counter. He hadoukened and sure you can to the freaking salesperson, took all the Mennonites and I was like, no, we're not having it. I Naruto'd my way out of the damn store and I shadow kicked him. I shadow kicked him in the face and I took all the Mennonites and yeah, I, I returned all of them and I actually got one for free. So yeah, Bowser Jr. saves the day and, and returned all the Mennonites to the store. So yeah, look at that. I'm a hero. Oh. And then next up, we got the Donkey Kong lineup. We got Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and the new King K. Rule that just came out recently. And I actually have a really funny idea once I get a girlfriend, uh, something to do with this amiibo. When I finally find the true love of my life that loves me and cares about me and doesn't want to break up with me for some other guy that plays sports, I want to pick up this amiibo and be like, Yo ass is hot. I don't know, I just find that extremely hilarious. And I forgot to include these into the classic kind of like group that I did earlier, but we got Simon and Richter. Not Richie, Richter. I thought it was called Richie for a second. But yeah, these guys are part of a really classic game called Simon's Quest, and it's awesome to see them that they were included in Smash Bros. Awesome to hold up their legacy or whatever. I never played the game, I could give two craps, but yeah, it's cool they're in Smash Bros. Better than freaking Fire Emblem. Anyways, next up, I'm gonna be showing you the Metroid kind of character amiibos or thingies, whatever. We're gonna start off with Samus, and I really like this amiibo, and fun fact, if, I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's actually a defect of this amiibo. It's called the double arm cannon Samus, and as you can tell from this picture, there's two of these blue arm cannons, which it's not supposed to have. It's super rare, and it went on eBay for lots of money, and I had a dream where I actually got it, and I was so happy, and I was like a billionaire, and then I woke up, and I realized that my dreams were crushed, and I never got it, so nice. And I broke that Samus amiibo, wonderful. Moving on, Dark Samus recently came out, so I really like this amiibo, actually super cool. And then we got the big freaking Ridley. This guy's a monster. Literally a monster, he's pretty big. And then we have the sexy, irresistible, Zero Suit Samus. She's very thick. It's 
pretty weird what you're doing there, Junior. I think you should stop. Uh, we got Ryu and Ken, and I really like Street Fighter, so I'm really happy they actually added Ken in. I don't know why they didn't just add him as like a color switch, but whatever. I really want to see Mortal Kombat. If you guys know what I'm talking about, type in the comments if you know what Mortal Kombat is. I want to see Scorpion, like Johnny Cage, and all those cool characters in Smash Bros. I would love that. And next up, we got Pokemon, Buzz. Let's look at all the Pokemon amiibo. This is going to be a long one. We got Pikachu, Pichu, Lucario, Jigglypuff, Incineroar, Mewtwo, Greninja, Charizard, Ivysaur, Squirtle, and Pokemon Trainer. When does the massacre end, Buzz? When does this end? Boom, boom, calm down. It ends right now. Jeez, oh my god. The last three amiibos we have is the wedding ones. We have wedding Mario, wedding Bowser, and wedding Peach. Really nice ones. I actually really like these ones. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the amiibo collection. It's done. It's over. Oh. That's it, Buzz? Wow. So, yeah, that's the Amiibo collection. Yeah, as you can tell, we mostly focus on Smash Bros, but here and there we go off, like, get the Odyssey ones. We mostly like the Mario ones, but yeah. I know for a fact the collection isn't complete. We still have to wait for Hero and Banjo-Kazooie and all those new characters like Terry to come out as Amiibos, but we will be picking them up and, yeah, continuing the collection till it finally ends, which is never, this is never gonna end. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more Amiibo-related videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and just comment what you wanna see. Uh, Amiibo Obsession 4. But yeah, that was my Amiibo collection up to date. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah.